is painful for you what we believe? No, no, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's painful for us. Because <laughs> you only believe what you believe because of where you were born. Okay? This is not something that you have come to the conclusion yourself. This is just how you were brought up, you believe it's true, and you're living it because you think it's true. That doesn't make it true. I'm going to ask you three questions, right? And I guarantee you pretty much you're going to say yes to three of them. All right, let's see. Do you believe the authors of the Gospels were inspired by God? Authors of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Do you believe they were inspired by God? Yes. 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 Do you believe the authors of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, was written by disciples of Jesus? Not all of them. Not all of them. Which ones weren't? This means I, I just need to go and look. Mark and Luke. There was no disciples called Mark and Luke. But you believe that they were Matthew and John, yeah? That they were, they were disciples of Jesus. And do you believe that the authors of these Gospels were eyewitnesses to what they wrote? I believe. Of course you do. So you pretty much answered yes, 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 like I, I believed you would. <laughs> Now, this is what we, this is, this, these are your premises to support your conclusion. So if what you're saying is true, it would make total sense to believe it. Well, these guys, Jesus chose to walk with him. These guys witnessed the life of Jesus, witnessed his miracles, and the Holy Spirit inspired them to write and correct them if they made, didn't made any mistakes. Yeah, of course I believe what it says. I agree. That, that would give you a uh, justified reason to believe what the New Testament, what the Gospels say. Yeah, fair? The problem you have is, there's no support for the idea that the authors of the Gospels were inspired by the Holy Spirit. None of the writers of the Gospels made such a claim. That's a claim put upon them by other people. They didn't make the claim, first thing. Second thing, according to biblical scholars, the authors of the Gospels are anonymous. You don't even know who wrote them. And if you don't know who wrote something, you certainly can't say they were eyewitnesses. But you don't know who they were. And when you realize that, so what I'm reading here now, isn't written by people who witnessed it, isn't written by people who claim to be inspired by the Holy Spirit, why do I believe it's true? That's the question you need to ask yourself. You see, because as my friend, there is spiritual eyes and there is flesh. If we born again Catholic, then we see with the spiritual eyes, we see the deepness of that. And we need to the Holy Spirit. And for you, it's fair enough. I'm going to make a claim to you now. No, no, it's not, not for you. To Why do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Because it's serene. When have you ever seen it in action? Give me an example of the Holy Spirit doing its work. Is the Holy Spirit with the Catholics or the, or with the Protestants? No, we're not Catholics. So, so who, who is the Holy Spirit with? With the Catholics or, or with the you? Protestants? Or the Orthodox? Who has or the, the Egyptian Spirit? Cops? Unfortunately, we need to leave. Right. No I'll say it again to you. The evidence on the New Testament the evidence from Christianity, there is no Holy Spirit. It doesn't do what it says on the tin. The Holy Spirit is supposed to lead you into all truth, and the Holy Spirit is supposed to guide you and correct you. The Holy Spirit doesn't correct the Gospel writers. The Holy Spirit doesn't correct Paul and the disciples who's right and who's wrong. The denomination of Christianity, like my brother said to you, who has the Holy Spirit? Catholics, have they got the Holy Spirit? Protestants, have they got it? Jehovah's Witnesses, have they got it? Who's got it? You have different Bibles. Which one, which one has the Holy Spirit? You can't all have it because you believe different things. Now, here's the thing I do see. I see Christians here writing, raving, singing, dancing, acting manic. And they claim that's the Holy Spirit. Nothing holy. When I see these churches and they're all, in all this business, that doesn't look very holy to me. <laughs> right, right, right. But this is the, but people claim this is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can down in, right? Because the problem is this. The Holy Spirit is supposed to, the Holy Spirit is supposed to do a job. Yeah? Correct. Harmonize, lead you into truth. And all you see in Christianity is division and confusion. Nobody knows what's true or what's not. <laughs>